Hey, what's up? My name is Jalon Abrams, and before I start, make sure y'all hit that like button. Alright, thank you. So, what we're doing today, we're doing meal prepping. So, basically what meal prepping is, is cooking a lot of food at one time, and putting it in containers similar to this, and, ha and setting it to the side so you eat later. So, a lot of times you'll cook, you might cook for that one day, or you might cook one day and then leftovers. What I'm doing is cooking for multiple days, or I'm cooking, I'm cooking for one day, but it's all the meals already done. So I'm not just cooking, okay, now I'm coming home, I'm cooking dinner. Okay, now I'm cooking lunch. I already have my lunch and dinner already set for the day because I cooked it the day before. So the benefits of meal prepping is that you're gonna eat healthier. Because a lot of times when you go to these different restaurants and eat, they add so much salt to your food to make it taste good. Salt, sugar, and a lot of extra stuff to make it taste good, but it's not necessarily healthy. And another benefit is that it saves you time. So you're not gonna be, when you come home, let's say you come home from work, you don't have to cook dinner for that day because let's say you cooked it the day before or you even cooked it two days before. So you're already gonna have your dinner already set and you're good to go. But there's a lot of cons to it as well. Well, this a lot of times when I tell people to meal prep, this is what I hear. Uh, okay, I don't want to meal prep because I don't want to eat the same thing. I'm tired of chicken. I'm tired of beef. I'm tired of, you know, that's, that's the main thing I hear. I hear people like they're tired of eating the same thing. But if you honestly think about it, you honestly eat the same thing every day. You know, you eat chicken, you eat uh, beef, you eat turkey, let's say ground turkey, ground beef, whatever, and you eat fish. Those are kind of the four, and if you're vegan, you know, I, I don't know anything about vegans, but for meat-wise, you basically eat four of the same things. So you're basically eating the same thing anyway. So the, the trick that I do is I will season it better, okay? So what you want to do is get super creative with it. So for today, we have chicken. I'm going to season the chicken with two different types of seasoning. So it's the same chicken breast but it's two different types of seasoning. So you're gonna be eating different things. And if for starches wise, they have rice, they have a bunch of different types of rice. I love sweet potatoes, they have regular potatoes, they have uh, pasta, um, different types of pasta you can use, uh, and vegetables, there's a ton of different greens. They have spinach, kale, asparagus, um, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, there's so many different things. And they have beans, a ton of different beans you can make. So it's no, it's no really excuse unless you just really don't wanna do it because you're gonna be able to change up your meal. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to show you four different meals. That's why I have four different containers. Four different meals that I made with just chicken breast. So this first one's gonna be with Cajun seasoning. And all I'm gonna do, is just fill it up with the Cajun seasoning. I'm not adding salt, I'm not adding pepper. All I'm doing is adding Cajun seasoning. Just using a spoon. So next we have the other two pieces of chicken breast. And what I'm going to use is garlic and herb, and it has black pepper and sea salt in there. So again, I don't have to add anything but this. So the way I season, when I use these things, I just season for color so it can look good. See now how it has all this extra, extra chicken with nothing on it? I'll just add a little more. So what I'm going to do next is cook these chickens in the oven and what I like to use is these glass containers because they're easy to clean. So I'm going to put the Cajun chicken in this one and then once I put it in here I like to add some avocado oil on the top because you know how I like avocado oil. So then what I'm going to do is put the garlic chicken in this one and I'm going to add the avocado on top of this one and I'm going to put it in the oven for about let's say 15 to 20 minutes and um, we're going to see what it do. So while the chicken is in the oven, I'm gonna prep my other things. So I already have my rice cooked. I used the rice cooker already, so that's cooked. So this, my sweet potato is cooked as well. So what I'm gonna do now is cut up the sweet potato and put it in a container so it's easier to scoop it when it's ready to do my meals. Yeah, so I love sweet potatoes. And with the sweet potatoes, I don't add anything else. I leave it just like this. Because it has, it's sweet already, and the seasonings you have in the rest of your foods, you don't need it. I know some people need salt, they need cinnamon, me, I don't need anything. Okay, so we have the sweet potato, we have the rice, we have the chicken cooking. The last thing we need are vegetables. So I pick broccoli, you can pick whatever you want. And I have this little, I wish it was bigger, but what I have is this thing, it's um, microwave safe. So I usually put my broccoli in there. Sometimes I cook it on the stove. But for this video, since I'm not going to get a good angle over there, we're just going to put it in here for now. So this is a good saver because you just put it in the microwave and forget about it. And 
All I'm gonna do is just fill it up. Fill it up with broccoli. Oh. Full of frozen broccoli. Put this little cap on it. It got little holes. Put the cap on it. Put it in the microwave. I usually put it for like six minutes. And then that's that's it for the broccoli. So everything is cooked. We have our containers. We have our chicken. We have our broccoli. We have our rice. We have our sweet potatoes. Now all we gotta do is fill these containers up. And that's the meal prepping for the day. So let's get to work. So there you have it. That's meal prepping 101. We got the first meal, sweet potato, broccoli, garlic, chicken, rice, garlic, chicken, broccoli, sweet potato, broccoli, Cajun chicken, rice, broccoli, Cajun chicken. So we have four completely different meals. So they have, you know, similarities in each one, but you can mix it up and you can get even more creative. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Just showing you different ways to meal prep, different ingredients, different recipes, but still being healthy. But if you like this video, give me a like, leave a comment on what I should cook next because I could actually, you know, make a recipe for y'all, you know, something, something different and um, subscribe. If you like the videos, I got workout videos, I'm doing cooking videos, got vlogs, subscribe and, you know, join the, I don't know what I'm going to call y'all because right now we're still a little, little small, but when we get a little more subscribers, I'm going to come with a name and join the team. But, you know, like, comment, subscribe, um, have a great day. I'll see you next time.